everybody, it's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Today I have a 16 by 20 inch canvas. I'm going to do an open traveling cup pour on this. Kind of excited. I haven't done one of those in a long time. Let's go over my paints. My base coat is going to be um, Blix Titanium White. And I'll tell you the pouring medium on that one alone is two parts Floetrol to one part paint. Squirt of GAC 800 and about a teaspoon of Liquitex Gloss Medium. And the rest of my paints are, the first one is a combination of um, Amsterdam's Oxide Black and Burnt Sienna. It's mostly the Burnt Sienna, but I did add just a little bit of dab of that black to darken it up a little bit. My next color is the Folk Art Color Shift Blue Flash. The next color is Golden Fluid Acrylic, their Prussian Blue. My next color is Golden Fluid Acrylic Teal. I'm using a lot of golden paints today. My next one is the Golden Fluid Acrylic Iridescent Copper Fine. Beautiful copper color here. My next color is Golden Fluid Acrylic Iridescent Gold Fine. And my next color is Liquitex Basics Light Olive Green. And my last paint is Folk Art Metallic Pearl White. Now these paints, all but the base coat, are mixed with seven parts of the mix, one part paint, and I did thin just maybe with one squirt of water. And let me show you consistency here. This is the gold. Just leaves a little trace. So what I'm going to do is stop the camera Put down my base coat and then we'll come back and I'll get started painting. Okay everybody, I'm back. I have my base coat down of my Blix Titanium White and I think I will torch that first before we get started. And again, this is a 16 by 20 inch canvas and I'm going to do an open cup traveling pour. And there's my little cup. I just took a little plastic cup and cut it down to hardly nothing there. And I'm going to just lay it there. And what I'm going to do is add a little bit of white around this to help it move. Okay, we'll see if that'll help it out a little bit. And let's get started with laying the paints down. No particular order. I do like to mix it up a little bit. No silicone added today. I did forget to mention that. And I think I will even add a little bit of this white in there every once in a while. This is that flash, the blue flash color. add some of this pretty gold in here. Looks like it's starting to move now. Here's 
our teal. Some of that beautiful copper. Copper is one of my favorite, favorite colors. This green was a last minute add. I just felt like I needed some green in there. A lot of blue and brown going on here. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more of the white. And a little bit more of the white on the outside here. Just to help it keep moving. That's that burnt sienna that I added the black to. If I can get it to move this way a little bit. Very, very interesting. I'm very interested to see how this mix works with this type of a pour. Don't believe I've done it yet with the mix. And I see I am getting some cells. And you can kind of try and direct your cup as to where you place your paint. See, I'm trying to place my paint to the front of the cup to get it to come down this way. Doesn't always work that way, but I'm going to help my cup along here now. I'm going to twist it a little bit. And what I'm going to, act, to do is actually turn my painting here. And I hope you still are in camera fine. You know, I'll try and get it to come down this way. And I'm going to add some more white paint here. And again, add some on the outside to help it, help the cup move a little bit. Okay.
I love that teal color. Just going to tip my painting here a little bit. Very, very pretty so far. And I hope you're enjoying this process with me. Try and get it up a little bit higher here. Okay. And I think I will add a little bit more of the white. See that nice pattern that it makes when I turn the cup a little bit? And I'm sorry that it's quiet in between here, but I'm concentrating a little bit here. Starting to use up these paints. Gonna give it a little help again. Gonna add a little bit more white again.
And I think this round will finish up my paints. That's that blue flash. And let's go with this green. It's an olive green. And let's go with our brown, our raw sienna. And our white, our white pearl. That is possibly what's giving us these cells, is the white pearl. And also because the base coat had Floetrol in it, that kind of adds to cells too. I'm going to twist it here a little bit again. And add the rest of our teal here. gold. I will come back with that gold because I have quite a bit left. And our dark blue. Copper. Quite a bit of copper and gold left. I'm going to twist this here. And lastly, I'll add the rest of the gold. Okay. And I will just twist this down towards the bottom here, letting some of that paint out. Okay. Really happy with how this looks. And I'm going to do a torch before I get tipping. I just made this paint out maybe two hours ago. So probably does have quite a few air bubbles in it. Okay, so let's start tipping here a little bit. Some of the paint has already run off the canvas, I see. And when you tip, you just want to be mindful of really what you like and what you want to keep. I'm going to run it over that corner. And that edge and bring it back. Now 
it's just really really nice in here pretty with all that copper there too I think I will run it off this edge over here This corner I should say okay and I'm going to bring that back I'm just going to run a little bit off this way And then I'm going to bring that back also. It's also pretty. I don't really want to run anything off, but I have to. There's too much paint on here. Okay, just taking another look here. This is, this is really, really pretty, pretty, pretty painting. So colorful. I'm going to run paint off this corner down here okay and I will bring that back and I'm really really glad I did add that that olive green, it's beautiful. Just beautiful in there and in there. Okay, just checking the corners here quick. Okay, taking another look at it. Okay, what I'm going to do is very carefully, I'm going to tip down to this far corner here. Just very carefully. I do like what's going on down there where my cup ended. Okay, and I'm going to bring that back. And bring it back down. I'm going to stretch this out just as much as I can here without losing losing anything that I think is really, really pretty. And I apologize if you're not seeing at all. Okay. I'm just taking another look at it here. Okay. Turn it this way. I can tell you what I do like about it. I do like that I have that negative space in the middle. I really think that really gives the eye something to look at there. The rest of the painting is pretty busy. So it's nice to have a little negative space. And this, up, this corner also has the negative space. I 
I think I'm going to torch it again before I decide if I need to tip it a little more off. It's just also very pretty. Beautiful, beautiful painting. Very happy with it. I'm just going to take a second here to clean off the bottom. I'm just going to tip a little bit off here. Just trying to still stretch out a little bit. Okay. And I'm going to turn it this way. And I'll bring it back down a little bit. In composition wise, I think it would go this way. So let me just clean the bottom again since I just tipped it. I'll tell you, the mix is just wonderful. It, it lets all these layers just come through. Okay, one more torch. And I'm going to bring you down for a close-up. Okay, everybody, here we are for a close-up. This is the upper left-hand corner. Very, very colorful. Going down the left hand side here. And I really like how the colors went around these big cells. Those look like boulders. And this is where my cup ended right here that I wanted to save. Right in here. Those colors mixed so well. This is the lower left hand corner. See that? That teal is so beautiful in there. And let's go up the middle. This is a spot I really like. A lot of the copper came through here with that dark blue. Beautiful. And I do, like I said, I do like that negative space there, that white. So crisp. And we'll just go over to the upper right here. And like I said, too, I really am glad that I kept that green in there. Decided at the last minute, the upper right-hand corner. These cells are very interesting in here. Very pretty in here. And this is what I wanted to show you about what the mix does. You can see those brown the big brown cells and then there's a film of that that light blue or the teal over the top of it that may be the flash the blue flash I'm not sure 
But see how it allows both of those colors to come through like that. It's just really, really a nice effect. It's really nice in here. These looks like clouds. And I like how that copper is between all of that, either the flash or the teal there. Very pretty lacing in here. Beautiful. Again, a lot of the copper came out down here. And this is the lower right hand corner. So let me know what you think of this video. Give me a thumbs up if you like it and share it. It would be great if you could share it. And ring the bell, choose all, so you'll know the next time I do post a new video. I hope you enjoyed this little journey with me here today using the mix and all these um, golden paints that I chose. I think it turned out wonderful. And subscribe if you haven't to help my channel grow. That would be really great. And until next time, take care, everybody. Bye for now.